I think young people in Gibraltar might be skeptical or might not be interested in the petty party political stuff. But when it comes to women's rights, when it comes to housing, education, employment, climate change, everyone seems to be interested in that. And you know, and this is a platform for us to be able to go and to discuss these things with like-minded individuals across the Commonwealth who have very different perspectives, very different problems, and try to formulate policy in the case of the Youth Forum, which then gets presented to heads of governments at the at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. More representation of women in Parliament, more representation of young people in Parliament as well. But I think more globally as well, the most important pertinent issues, at least on a global scale when we go to the Commonwealth, is definitely the environment and also the importance of education. Because I think we can speak here very freely now and luckily we all go to university or we have the opportunity to go to university, even secondary education. No, we've got very good um, secondary education here in Gibraltar. And then when you start talking to your other friends from across the Commonwealth, you realise that actually the struggles that they're facing are much more stark than you are. So I think education especially is one of those important things we like to push in the Commonwealth, but ultimately the environment as well. I think something that should be um, fresh in our minds is that 60% of everyone in the Commonwealth is under the age of 30, you know? So that is the majority. And I think that political parties in Gibraltar need to have attractive um, policies that appeal to people like Adriana and I, you know, in terms of housing, employment, youth, education. And I think that the onus, especially in the upcoming general election, is not only on the political parties, but as well us as a community. Why are we failing to have that extra representation of women in, in our parliaments? No, so I think that's also the key question of really taking a moment to reflect and ask ourselves why there are very few women in, in our parliament.